Hi guys, is the Brexit penny finally dropping with the right honourable gentleman from the 19th century? So in his latest crusade against making life cheaper and better for British people, Jacob Rees-Mogg railed against copying carbon reduction measures that the EU has implemented in areas like steel. If the UK wants to export manufactured goods into the single market, it needs to align as closely as possible with its standards. However, let's get to the Brexit penny drop moment. Jacob was speaking to Nigel Nelson, a political commentator, about the UK government taxing imports from countries with low environmental standards. Then Mogg made a startling statement when it came to trade. Well, you could always see it as an opportunity. Um, I'm not quite sure which bit you object to more, whether it's the the, the movement towards net zero or the fact that we're taking something from Brussels. Um, But either way, if you look at this from a different end of the telescope, if we get this right, we get net zero right, we become uh, uh, green technology leaders in in this country, businesses could uh, end up um, making a, a trillion pounds. That's, the, that's this government's estimate of the kind of money that would come from that kind of thing. That's the direction of travel uh, in, the, in the rest of the world. We've got to catch up. Um, as far as the specific thing goes, a tax on uh, foreign steel would mean our steel would be, um, would be more attractive to, to buy. Uh, same with glass. Um, same with ceramics, all the various things that this would actually apply to. But protectionism never works. We've seen this from history. And we've already destroyed our steel industry by our mad green policies. Now we're saying to consumers, we've destroyed our industry, so we are going to make your costs permanently higher. This just damages the growth opportunities for the UK economy. But you don't see this this as a way of actually inc- uh, getting economic growth? No, no, it's definitely not. It would be if, if, we get a, if, if, a trillion, if a trillion pounds were that, more business came into Britain, that's a, it would be. You never get a trillion pounds from making trade more difficult. Anything that makes trade more difficult makes countries poorer. Anything that makes trade more difficult makes countries poorer. (laughs) You heard it from Jacob Rees-Mogg himself, the guy who campaigned for Brexit and still thinks Brexit was a good idea. So when it comes to trade with the European Union, Brexit has made trade more difficult. So why do you still support Brexit, Jacob Rees-Mogg? Now, Nigel raised an interesting point here at the very beginning. He said, are you against this because it's net zero or are you against this because it's copying um, the EU's regulations? Because I believe that Jacob Rees-Mogg has investments in the fossil fuel industry. So it's possible that he's against net zero because it would hurt him financially or it would hurt his investments. It's also possible that he is so stuck with Brexit that he can't actually be honest about it and say, look, yes, Brexit has been a disaster for UK industry. We have put up barriers to trade with our biggest market. And that was a mistake. So he can't admit that because then he would have to maybe apologize. And he's a politician and he's a Tory politician. So they're not very good at that. Which is it? But anyway, back to the main point. Why would you support something that puts up barriers to trade? You said yourself, barriers to trade makes the country poorer, makes the public poorer. Brexit is making people poorer. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.